Okay, and combat is... yeah. Okay, again. Okay, apparently we're going to be making a uh, slight delay change. Because they are taking another attempt <coughs> at my capital. I'm sorry, but you can't do that. The Deke's Interstellar Union is really pissing me off. They're next. Yeah, that's what I thought. They are next. So next. Alright. You guys are good. Let's get you guys in there. By the time you jump there, it'll be safe. Yeah. Every time my fleets just show up, they, uh... They run for their lives. Yeah, I mean, they're still trying to wreck some havoc here and there, but... Very quickly, I'm going to have systematically eliminated one of their members by taking all of his planets. That is the Glyron League. And, uh... After that, well, we're going after the Deke's Interstellar Union. Occupation 2, War Score 9, Space Battle 6. Yeah, the, the fact they're getting so much fucking uh, War Score from just blowing up my stations pisses me off. Irrationally so. Relative strength and navy minus seven. Oh, is that so? Would you like to fucking fight me then, bro? I didn't think so. Nefithi. Yeah. So. Pressing our very obvious victory over them shouldn't be too hard. But, yeah. I'm gonna come up here. I'm gonna take out this, take out this. Probably also take out that while we're at it. And start trying to eliminate these smaller members. Alright. Keep the bombardment up. Some I actually jumped there. I thought they were about to land. I was like, what what wait, what are you doing? Alright. In the Bic hull system. Well, yeah, you guys can probably win this fight without the support of, uh, the battleships, because apparently we've got to go. Got to go and scare them off. Yeah, they'll be fine. If the garrison's already breaking... Yeah. That one gene warrior army is not enough. I mean, you don't underestimate garrisons, but their real job is just to soak damage. Like, that's all they do. Yep. Damn straight, now get the fuck out of here. That's what I thought. Alright. Where is their capital? Huh. 
Can't seem to find it. Ah, well. That's irrelevant. That's fine. Okay, whatever. Now. Turim is, yeah, just a wormhole station. Which I'll want to take out anyway. We do want to get rid of all of their wormhole stations in the areas if we can. Are they going to start to come try and land on this planet? Alright. Well, you're welcome to try, I suppose. You've got seven armies. Even all gene warriors isn't going to be enough. Especially with the planetary fortifications already being reinforced. Yeah. Decreased by 77. 80%. They're just robots. Alright, well. Uh, how's Medak going? Good enough we can just land the armies? Good. Get that battle started. Cool. Now the battleship's got to pull. Just in case. Because it does appear that they can, uh, they can beat us. I mean, they are only assault armies after all. Time to withdraw. Interesting. So, transport fleets can't actually... Yeah. Yeah, so they're, they're just fleeing. A minor nuisance. Have to be corrected. All right, take that out. I mean, we're slowly, uh, slowly taking these guys out. It's taking a while, but, uh, we are up against a lot of fucking people. <laughs> so it's not too surprising. Our acceptance is minus eight still. Oh dear. Yeah. We'll push them down eventually. The problem is they keep running and that makes it rather quite hard to do anything. It's, it really does, actually. Like, try, trying to get war score in this game is actually really hard if the enemy never actually fights you. <laughs> If their solution is just run and hide, then it takes a while. You guys have to at least try and let some of them regen. Like the AI is overseeing the security of the planet, so it seems to do okay. I mean, out of anywhere, I feel like I should build, like, a freaking fortress. But they're so expensive. So. Also, how goes the Gene Warriors? Up to two Gene Warriors. Uh, they're not easy to build. Uh, look at that. A snare. <laughs> yeah. So... The, the enemy is, well, at least our first enemy is nearly fallen. The Glyron League has been the one we've been after this whole time, though, so. That's all that matters, really. You know, we're actually just going to start jumping around. And trying to blow up all their shit. God damn, taking forever to heal. Can't even heal them all at once, either. 
Because these guys got enough fucking uh, troops there. Hey, right. yeah, we're going to call you guys up. We need you guys to land the armies. Apparently it warned me I would not win this fight. That's always good to see. Yeah, we're going to need a general apparently, but I can't recruit one. I love uh, this guy. Four star, an invader. Hmm. Okay, well, they're apparently managing to rebomb their own planet. I've never been able to do that, so I'm kind of salty. Okay. No, uh, no wormhole trap? Fine by me. The Glyron League uses wormholes to get around, so... I'm hoping to find and blow up most of the wormholes. If we can do that... Then I think we're good. Alright. Either way, before I have to split this episode... Well, at this point, it's too late. <laughs> uh, oh well. Yeah, well. This guy's gonna go through and clean this place out. Before we head on to the next one. Alright, you guys... Get away. Now it's your turn to land on the planet. While you guys sit back. Now apparently, these guys have, uh, yeah, some really good armies. I, I have severely neglected to build a proper army, and I'm starting to realize the foley that I've gotten myself into with that. That's rather unfortunate. I never really thought much of uh, planetary warfare, but as we get into a later and later game, I am finding very much so that I am regretting some things with that. The whirlwind missiles. Alright. Interesting. I rarely see them massing. Uh, oh, so that's where the useless Grand Duchy's capital is. Okay. Plan B. I'm going to want some reinforcements here just in case. I mean, these guys look like they might just be crazy. And willing to fight. Yeah, we're actually losing out on uh, troops here. That's probably okay. Yeah, you know, we're going to have to get some more uh, armies anyway. It's probably about time for us to uh, consider the alternatives. Build a proper gene warrior army. guys usually don't uh, attack in force, so you've given me enough pause for the moment to uh, recall my second fleet here. Yeah, it looks like you guys gathered enough firepower for it. 
but our matter destroyer rays are pretty powerful, so. And we now have reinforcements as well. So, assuming we ever get into firing range of most of their ships, then uh, we'll just shred them. We've lost a battleship thus far. Also, apparently we have no leader. They did finally figure out who that we were not supposed to have him leading two fleets at the same time. I'd believe it. And no, it's also say about damn time. Ow. Yeah, they're throwing a lot into this offensive here. And they're paying quite dearly for it. I'm also disagreeing severely with, uh, yeah, that fleet combat meter. And it appears even the AI agrees with me on that fleet combat meter. That they were getting fucked. Boom. Now, that said, we did lose like six battleships, so begin building new ones. But, yeah. I have a feeling that their tune suddenly changed a bit, didn't it? This relative navy strength went in our favor by two from that. Uh, they will never learn, will they? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we got a uh, we got a lot of them to kill if we're gonna pull this off. And I'm really trying to finish off the Glyron League as best as possible. Hey, you guys, get over here now before they can retake these planets. Yeah, they're. Due to my lack of uh, a proper mob mobile military force, it's really starting to hurt. I'm, I'm finding that as well. You guys are stuck out here for a while, I'm afraid. And the enemy managed to regenerate and build more garrisons. Uh, you know what? It's not going to be worth it until the friggin' Gene armies are ready. They've uh, managed to re-liberate that. Oh, how nice of them to uh, build some more space stations for me to destroy. I mean, these alone are looking pretty good. Hmm. Yeah, they also all cost the same. Ventricular drone swarms, except that one. So I guess there's just tier one and then tier two modifications. Because Xeno, Xeno Cavalry, I just like the best, I guess. Doesn't really matter. A good mix of offense and defense is always nice. Hmm. You guys should probably uh, head back to port, though. Let's, uh, let, let's, uh, let's not overextend ourselves here. You guys took some casualties and some damage, so get repaired and uh, get ready for round two. Because I'm sure they will come again. They always do. There we go. Mm-hmm. Alright, and well I should just split you guys in half. Do we do we we have a lot of extra admirals, don't we? Yeah. 
That's a weird sound. Hmm. Anyway. Yeah, relative Navy strength. They seem to think they're a lot stronger than me. I highly disagree with that, but alright. No, you, you can go to full. Or limited, rather. Fleet. Limited, please. You guys. Good, you're unlimited as well. I mean, we can just keep blowing shit up all around here. It will hurt them. Yeah, they're, uh, they're wrecking havoc out here. Which is rather annoying of them, but nothing we can do. Now our armies take as long to build as battleships, so... Ugh. It's annoying. Mm -hmm. We're slowly managing to push them back. I doubt we'll actually end up getting all of uh, our demands. Because they, they are fighting pretty heavy here to retake things. And have actually managed to wipe out most of our initial assault progress, but... That's okay. Like, uh, we've gotten 26 now from space battles, so... To say the least, we've got a strong opening. And once we have their gene army up, uh, well, we will win. That's just going to happen. The problem is the gene army takes fucking 365 days to build. It's too bad I can't be like the uh, unbidden and just... You know, destroy uh, everything on a planet from orbit. Why is that not a super weapon in this game? It's just an end game, fuck your armies thing. I, I want that. I mean, we have an orbital mind control laser, of all things. I can build that now, yeah? yeah? The orbital mind control laser. I'm actually kind of surprised we have ethics divergence on the on uh, the core worlds. I kind of want to build the orbital mind control laser, see what it does in that, but me. All right, anything we should build here? Doesn't look like it. looking for, you know, good things to put there, but it doesn't seem to be anything. Ah, good. Alright. You guys head back to Coach Ab. You guys embark. You guys get the rest of you. will have to get Xeno Cavalry, then embark. Just to make sure. I want these guys to be in top fighting form. Alright. And with that, I'd like to say thank you to everyone for watching. Tune in next time because uh, we're putting together our freaking Gene Army fleet. I mean, it's not complete yet, but it will be soon. Within the year. And then, and then, we will get them. Also, apparently, we do not have a friggin' wormhole here. Okay, I know we've pretty much gone beyond the use of wormholes, but... I'm gonna freaking build a station anyway. Because we need it. Anyway, you guys are repaired. So, thank you everybody for watching. This has been your lovely, lovely host, Gilvin.